Hello, everyone. On behalf of the Newman University Boogie Nights, we would like to welcome you to Newman University and to the annual Boogie Nights Dance Recital. My name is Chris Hewlett, and I will be your MC for tonight. And I can't see you from the light, but hopefully Will Smith isn't here. I said Chris Hewlett, not Chris Rock. <laughs> when I volunteered for the job, I didn't know that there was a risk of bodily harm doing this, but hopefully I won't even insult anyone. All right. Newman University Boogie Nights is a dance organization on campus that celebrates the art of dance through dance classes and performances in and around the Newman community. The Boogie Nights perform at various dance events throughout the school year. In addition to performing, they fundraise and do service events. The team practices on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 8 p.m. all the way up to this annual performance. Before we get started, I want to make sure you get your phone out. Everybody hold your phone up for me so I can see. Let me see your phones, everybody. And make sure you hit the little button on the side that turns it to mute, if you wouldn't mind. You can take pictures if you want, but let's all just make sure we didn't accidentally forget and leave it down. All right. So with that being said, welcome to the Boogie Night Blockbuster. Enjoy the show. We're starting the show with a mashup from the era of the Walkman and leg warmers. That's right, welcome back to the 80s. Here's a mashup of Footloose and Hey Mickey, choreographed by Rachel Meehan and Mindy Wu. football pool. 
school, so I don't watch all the games. I don't care about the Bengals and the Browns anymore. But I have a friend who has a son that plays with the Chicago Bears, so now I watch them because I have someone on the team. Well, ballet was sort of the same story for me. Never did I watch ballet, never was I interested until a little voice from my niece about 15 years ago that said, want to watch me do ballet? I'm going to be in the Nutcracker this year. Now, I don't know the story of the Nutcracker until after watching her get better and better and do all the different parts of the Nutcracker, I started to get to know the story. Uh, so I can now say that I watched ballet because of my little niece. So I got culture. Well, we are all about to get culture. It's time to get your magic wands ready as we now head to the wizarding world for ballet. We have Hedwig's theme choreographed by Rachel Meehan and Mindy Wu. Next we have our first senior solo from Dominique Edwards. I got a chance to talk to Dominique. She's from Philadelphia. She's a major in liberal arts here at Newman. Uh, after she graduates, she's planning on going for her master's in forensic science. And uh, one of her biggest cheerleaders is her daughter, Navia. I asked her if she wanted a free trip where she would go, and she said she would go to Hawaii. Um, and then I asked her who she would take, and she said I would go alone. <laughs> and then I asked her the most uh, of deepest questions, what would you get on your pizza? And she said she's fine with cheese. So, Dominique writes, I've been dancing since I was a preteen. I did mostly hip hop and African dance. When I was a teenager, I used to challenge people in battle dance. And in high school, my major was dance. Dance makes me happy still to this day. 
I just joined Boogie Nights Dance Club with this my last semester at Newman. I never knew Newman offered this club. I believe it was due to COVID closing and shutting everything down. I enjoy this club because I have met friends and hope we can continue to talk even as we go on to live our career paths. I will miss this club, but I would continue to keep my friendship with whomever from the club that wants to continue to be my friend. I want to take this time to thank every girl in the club for welcoming me with open arms. And now, without further ado, Newman University senior, Dominique Edwards. the invitation you got the right address you need some medication the answer's always yes a little chance counter could be the one you've waited for just squeeze a bit more tonight we're on a mission tonight's the casting call this is the real audition oh god help us all you
next performance is our alumni duet, performed and choreographed by Ashley Diamond and Carolyn Wolf. Carolyn graduated in May of 2021 with her bachelor's in early childhood education. Carolyn is now a kindergarten enrichment teacher at Beaver Creek Elementary School. Ashley will be graduating in December of this year with her bachelor's in nursing. Ashley and Carolyn will be dancing to the jazz hop from Victor Victoria, as covered by the cast of Glee. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley and Carolyn. I found a way 
But you never go away So I guess I gotta stay now Oh, I hope someday
Next we will have our second senior solo, Marissa Lalone. I got a chance to talk to Marissa. She is from Cinnaminson, New Jersey. Her major is communications and digital media with a minor in film studies and theater. After graduation, she pursues, her plan is to pursue graphic design or social media management. I asked her who her biggest cheerleaders were and she said her family, friends, and Michael. Is that Michael? No. If you want a free trip to go anywhere in the world, where would you go? She said Disney and then I asked who would you take? And now she put Michael first and then family. Sorry. <laughs> and as for her deepest question about pizza, it was plain white pizza. So next we have Marissa. She writes, I started performing in fifth grade in a choir. I explored performing more throughout my school years, continuing in choir and delving into stage crew through high school. But the activity that had the most impact on me was high school color guard. I was taught for all four years by a man named Sean Clancy. He set a standard of commitment, honor, and spirit through his love of performing, which reflected onto me. Unfortunately, he passed away last year at the age of 29. But through that loss, I continued to carry his joyful spirit with me whenever I stepped foot on stage to dance. I am forever grateful to this club for letting me continue my love of performing, as well as to my family and friends for loving me through each show, each recital, and each competition with their support. We are all little wonders. Wonderful words from Marissa, and now a wonderful performance. Here is Newman University senior Marissa Lalone. Let it go, let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know? The hardest part is over, let it in, let your clarity define you in the end. We will only just remember how we feel, our lives are made. These small hours, these little wonders, these twists and turns of fate, time falls away, but these small hours, these small hours still remain. All of my regret will wash away somehow, but I cannot forget the way I feel right now These small hours These little wonders These twists and turns of feet Yeah, these twists and turns of feet Time falls away But these small hours These small hours Still remains, yeah These twists and turns of fate Time falls away But these small hours These little wonders Still remain
change their outfits. They have more outfits than I have pants. Oh my. So who has seen Spider-Man No Way Home? The movie app, right? Some people? Yeah. Marvel Studios, right? Marvel Universe? Have you seen any of the Marvel movies? Yes. There have been 27 films produced by Marvel Studios, with 12 more in various stages of development. The highest grossing film franchise of all time grossed over $25.6 billion on a budget of $5.332 billion. That's a pretty good profit, right? Let's all kick in $5.3 billion to get 25. I think we're good, right? They set out their movies in four phases. So you guys may remember from 2008, Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, 2010 was Iron Man 2, 2011 was Thor, Captain America, and Marvel's The Avengers in 2012. Then came Phase 2. Did you know they had all these phases? Iron Man 3 came out. 2013, Thor, The Dark World. 2014, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. 2014 also, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers of Age of Ultron, Ant-Man. That was 2015. Phase 3, Captain America, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Spider-Man Homecoming, we're still only in 2017. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, we're up to 2018 now, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel 2019. Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Far From Home, all 2019. Now we're in phase four of the films. Black Widow, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Eternals, Spider-Man, I think they're changing that, so. <laughs> so now the Boogie Knight, Boogie Knight, the Boogie Knights head to the Marvel Cinematic University, the universe, university. Our six heroes, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye are lined up for one final battle. It's time for the Boogie Knights to assemble with portals from the Avengers Endgame, choreographed by Ashley Dutton.
Next we have our final senior solo of the night, Mindy Wu. Mindy's hometown is Hocassin, Delaware. Her major is criminal justice with a minor in sign language. After school, she hopes to pursue a career in law enforcement. When asked who her biggest cheerleader is, she said, Mom. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I asked her if she won a free trip to go anywhere in the world, where in the world, where would she go? She said Italy. And who would you take? She said parents and Brian. The most important question, what kind of pizza does she indulge in? It's margarita. Good choice, Mindy. She writes, I have been dancing since I was four years old back at the YMCA. Then I went to Mid-Atlantic Ballet and danced from six years old until I graduated high school. I was not sure if I was going to dance in college. I went to NU Night Day, which got me interested in joining the club. The previous vice president and vice president asked if I was interested in a board position. Then at the spring recital in 2019, they announced that I would be the next president of the club. I'm so proud of myself for sticking with it and being able to step up as president of Boogie Nights. I'm glad that I got the experience of how to plan events and meetings for the club. I've loved being able to choreograph dances and making many friends from the club. I will really miss this. Well, Mindy, we do not want to miss this. Our next soloist, Newman University solo senior, Mindy Wu.
I know one of, you know, if you live in one house, that's a chapter, you move to another house, there's another chapter. Jobs can identify chapters, you know, I worked here for so long, that was a chapter in my life. Um, dating people could be a chapter, being married, divorced, married again, whatever, that, those are chapters. Sometimes the changes just happen, you know, if you're in school, it graduates, you know, in four years, that's your chapter. Sometimes you push to end a chapter. If you're in a bad relationship or a bad job, you kind of end that chapter sooner than later. But one thing usually happens when one chapter ends, another one begins. Some of you are here to watch a senior perform who is bringing a close to this chapter of her life. We may not know what their next chapters are going to be as they write the story of their lives. Maybe they continue education, maybe they strike out on a career path, maybe they continue to perform, or maybe they put that on pause as they get busy with other parts of their life. But no matter what is next for them, they will always have this chapter to look back on and enjoy the memories. We're really hitting the fields at this part of the evening. Up next is the senior dance, choreographed by our three seniors. And they wrote, we are so grateful to have been able to have the experiences we did during our time in Boogie Nights. The last few years have been nothing short of historic, as the last in-person recital we performed was our first one back in 2019. Whether we've been here since the first recital or joined for the last one, we have grown as friends and as family. We hope that ones who come after us continue to share in that bond of genuine friendship and that we may serve as examples for them. To our fellow Boogie Knights, thank you for all the memories we've shared together. You will all have a special place in our hearts. To our friends, family, and loved ones who have supported us nonstop, we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. And now, let's go to infinity and beyond one last time because you've got a friend in me. changes things. Think of all the phrases we still use. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, that came from a time when 
beds were on rope across boards and they piled up the hay that he would sleep on and after a while that bed would start to hang down and they would want him you know, you know sleep tight, pull your bed tight so that you're not down where the bugs are on the floor. Saved by the bell, you know where that came from? Someone passed away, right? They didn't have medical ways to check to make sure that the person was dead. They'd tie a little string to a toe, have it come out. And the person that was working the graveyard shift that night, overnight, would listen for the bell in case that person woke up. I want to get him out of the box. <laughs> Bite the bullet comes from back when the soldiers, before we had anesthesia, and they had to do some you know, battlefield work on them, put a bullet in for them to bite while they were chomping down. Anyway, some of us uh, remember times when we had to actually get up from our couch to go over to the TV set to turn the dial to change the channel. There hasn't always been a, a TV in every room. Nowadays, people start putting TVs in every room. And guess what? Because of these cell phones and tablets, now we don't even need TVs in every room because our kids are looking at the... My son got Grandpa's truck and he asked me, Dad, what is this crank on the door? I tell you open the window. Now I remember when I first got a car that had the electric window and I must have spent about 10 minutes there and went ee, 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 playing with it, you know, until someone said, you're gonna burn the motor out. He spent about 10 minutes playing with the crank. This is cool! <laughs> oh my. My father was a greaser. Remember that term? He would wear jeans, a white t-shirt, had his hair slicked back, put his buckle over on the side so that he could work on a car without scratching it up. Will there be greasers in the future? I don't know. Because they're coming to electric cars, there's nobody gonna change the oil anymore, right? I, they're not greasers, they won't be greased. We'll have to come up with some other term, I'm sure. I don't know, but speaking of grease, I'm hoping they've changed their clothes now. We have our final dance of the night. Are you guys ready? Let's rev up the engines one last time with a mashup from Greece. Here is Grease Lightning and We Go Together, choreographed by Rachel Meehan and Mindy Wu.
unfortunately, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John couldn't be with us tonight, but you were thinking of them, weren't you? Uh, before we bring them out one more time, they wanted me to uh, give a special thanks to Patrick Murray, who is doing the lights and music. Please give him a hand. Our videographer is Michael Stellabach. Back behind the curtains, you don't see them. Maria Frankowitz. <laughs> and Teddy Jehanian. They also wanted me to do a special thank you to their photographer. I'm trying to read the words here. Oh, William Wu. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Newman University Zone, the Boogie Knights, freshmen Kayla and Evelyn. <laughs> Sophomores, Rachel and Cassandra. Special guest alumni, Carolyn and Ashley. Thank you. 